Ladies and gentlemen, Call of Duty fanatics, welcome back to another Warzone video. And in this video, we are going to talk about brand new easter egg that we have discovered while we were completing the Sins of the Father Ghost Intel missions. This Warzone easter egg, or actually information that this easter egg is providing to us, could be a game changer in the storyline of Warzone. And I will go even further to say that with this information that we got from this easter egg could be a proof that actually Imran Zakaev, who's actually the father of Viktor Zakaev, could still be alive. I know this sounds a little bit silly considering the fact that the new canon is uh, saying that Imran Zakaev died of a heart attack in 1996, but that could be all just a cover-up that he actually faked his death and I'm going to show you in the next couple of moments I'm going to show you what am I talking about as you can see on your screens we are here in an executive room so basically the intel of the sins of the father that I'm talking about is the sixth piece of intel and in order to get this piece of intel you need to go into the stadium uh, executive room and basically you need to do the easter egg but also you can do it in a Warzone, Warzone Rumble without the easter egg. And this is the intel that I'm talking about. You see on this picture the letter on the left. Now basically that's the new easter egg that most of us have missed. And this is a letter from Imran Zakaev to Viktor Zakaev. This picture does not look significant, especially not if you are paying attention to the sticker note which is basically saying where you need to go next to collect your next piece, but when you zoom the letter on the left, you get this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a letter from Imran Zakaev to Viktor Zakaev. Uh, this picture that you see on your screen is a little bit pixelized, but you can still read it and we manage to crack the this letter and basically made a whole reconstruction and I'm, I'm going to read this letter because it's absolutely amazing and could be a whole, as I said at the beginning, game changer for the complete lore of Verdansk. So here is the letter, Victor. Know that in you we see the future on our own name and of Russia herself. The burdens you will bear in life are too great to measure. Find strength in them, but know your limits and know which lines you are ready to cross. In my days, violence was specific. We used stateless entities, some even branded as terrorists, to influence policy. Then I met Perseus and found my own line. It's because of this I give you caution, stay wise to your allies. As well as your enemies, for it waited. They will forget their hatred toward each other and fight it in you. Old wounds take generations to heal. Do not let them. The West can fall without firing a shot. Yet these politicians, our so-called leaders, have made Russia a slave to the West. Our culture, our economy and our honor are its victims. Never forget what you fight for, my son. And signature is I Z in Cyrillic letters, which means Imran Zakaev. There are two important elements of this letter that I want to bring forward to you. First one is the question, is Imran Zakaev still alive and basically, is he pulling the strings from behind? So there are two very important and interesting elements of this letter that I want to bring forward to you. First one is the question, is Imran Zakaev still alive? Now, the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare canon actually is saying that Imran Zakaev died in 1996 of a an heart attack and that his son Viktor Zakaev took over his father's legacy to finish what his father have started. But on another hand, I would like to raise another question. Why would Viktor Zakaev, who is basically trying to complete his father's work, why would he keep outdated letter from his father in the executive boardroom of Verdansk Stadium? That doesn't make sense. And actually, it only could make sense if the letter is freshly written. 
And to further support my theory that Imran Zakaev is still alive, you can actually Google it or search the YouTube videos on Imran Zakaev that and basically you will find a tons of videos which are basically uh, trying to say and they are deeper exploring the possibility that Imran Zakaev faked his death. And the second important part of this letter and I have to actually read you this sentence again which says Then I met Perseus and find my own line. It's because of this I give you caution, stay wise to your allies. So Imran Zakaev is closely related to Perseus and there is no denying of it. Like we had the tons of theories that he might uh, have been connected to Perseus but now this is something that confirms the um, connection of Zakaev family to Perseus project. And it's an absolute important information because, as you probably already know, Perseus will be the main villain for the next Call of Duty title, which is called Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Which, again, explains a lot how Viktor Zakaev managed to gain his powers. So he had a strong connections within the Russian government and he had a strong connections within the remnants of the Soviet Union, like KGB agents and probably Persos. Because there is also a rumor that Persos is alive and that he might be also traveling through the time. But time travel could be a topic for some future videos because we can't ignore the fact that a lot of um, gamers that were watching the trailer for Black Ops Cold War, they're claiming that they saw a time machine in that trailer. Honestly speaking, I've watched the trailers at least hundreds of times and there are some interesting and strange elements, especially when that uh, room with the red door collapses but I'm not sure if that could be a time machine, so we will see what's going to happen. But I sincerely hope that we will get some uh, major uh, reveals in the season 6 that's due to come in the two weeks time. All information presented in this video actually is something that could be a major game changer and especially in the Warzone storyline and I simply can't wait to see how this whole mystery is going to unwrap. Because now we have a solid proof that there is an absolute connection between the remnants of the Soviet Union, the Persos project and Zakaev family, in particular Viktor Zakaev who is the son of Imran Zakaev. But also there is a strong possibility that Imran is still alive and hiding. So ladies and gentlemen, that would be all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what do you think about this easter egg and the theories that I presented in this video. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What are you expecting? Is Imran Zakaev alive? Could he be alive? Who is Perseus? Tell me all of your thoughts because we are basing all of our investigations on the thoughts from our followers. So uh, engage and let us know what do you think. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to do so for a great future Call of Duty content. And until next time, my fellow Verdansk citizens, I wish you all the best and stay frosty.